doing good people this is the eight bit animal okay so today's game is actually a product tie-in a very well known product tie-in actually mainly because it was one of the few NES cards to be tied to a product that you could get mail order uh, it's from 1990 and it was Published by the folks best known for publishing Silver Surfer. Today's game is Spot the Video Game. Okay, so Spot is essentially a board game. You would think it would be a lot more to it, but no, not really. It kind of reminds what kind of reminds you of the board game Reverse Eye, where the object of the game is to basically um, take control of all of your opponent's game pieces on the board. And at the end of the game, when the board is filled and there are no more empty spaces available, you have the most pieces on the board. Um, now, to kind of kind of add some character to this. You make your moves by using Spot, um, the 7-Up mascot. And depending on where you move and the different and the number of opponent pieces around you, your character will animate in different ways and change the board in your favor. Now, this game, like I said, it, at one point, actually, it was a pretty hard to come by a game but more copies have gone into the wild and it's a lot easier to find a copy now I guess a lot of folks spent that $24.95 and um, used those six proof of purchase to get one um, now this title was followed up by an actual platformer called cool spot which was critically acclaimed because it was just an awesome title and that was followed up by Spot Goes to Hollywood. But back to this time, back to Spot, the video game. Um, it was ported to a number of different platforms. Um, the Game Boy, PC, Atari ST, the Amiga, and the NES. The only one that received this mail order treatment, though, was the NES version. And... To be quite honest, it wasn't the most spectacular game, and Amiga probably would have, I mean, no, Amiga, <laughs> Arcadia probably would have done better with a platformer, but considering how well-received Silver Surfer was, they might have made a better choice going with a board game type situation with Spot. Um... If you like games like Othello or Attacks, the, um, as far as video games are concerned, or if you like playing Reverse Eye, um, you might want to consider giving this a try. It also notable that this game is a four-player game, so you can, if you have a four-score or an NES satellite and some extra controllers and some extra people around, this could be a fun little party game for you and three of your buddies. So definitely, you know, as far as board games go, this one doesn't suck. It's not a bad game. Um, so yeah, you should give Spot a try. It's a pretty decent video game as far as that genre of game goes. Um, it's right up there with stuff like Anticipation as far as just a fun little party game that you can play with some folks. This has been the 8-Bit Animal. And I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow.